what's going on you guys Foster and I'm back with another video in today's video I'll be doing something that has been requested and that is how to kite slash like orb walking and how that works so yeah for this video I'll be using Caitlyn since she does have the longest auto attack range in the game which makes this a little bit easier now it says here 800 but it's actually 625 I do believe uh, 650 but the range increase comes from the rapid fire cannon now, before anything else, there are a couple of things you should do in your settings to set it up that this becomes much easier. First of all, do remember to quick cast everything. Because if you don't quick cast anything, then kiting is going to become nearly impossible. Especially if you're not playing something that is auto attack reliant. Let's say you're playing Ezreal and you have to Q as well. But if you don't quick cast anything, it's going to look like this. And then you're going to have to aim it with your mouse and fire it as well. Instead of just shooting it straight up like this. So that, well, when you're walking back like this, this is going to be very inefficient to then have to click and then, you know, that doesn't work. So if you really want to become good at kiting, you just quick cast everything. That will be like the optimal thing to do. Now, another thing is this option in game and then uh, scroll down and then you see the attack move on cursor right here. You have to have this box ticked because if you don't have this box ticked, then it's going to, uh, well, you can probably see it like right there enabled means attack move will prioritize the target closest to your mouse click and disabled attack move uh, the attack move will prioritize targets closest to your champion which means if you use the auto attack move now this is one example but if you were farming and you were using this auto attack move it will only auto attack something that's closest to you so let's say let me just put a dummy here right if I was standing right next to the dummy and then I was trying to auto attack move right on this guy, then I would be auto attacking the dummy instead of the uh, croc. So that that doesn't work. You have to make sure that that auto attack move closest to your cursor is on because this will also uh, allow you to auto attack move whilst farming, which is very important because if you do that in lane and you have a lot of minions, I can talk about my minions on actually and speed this up by like 30 seconds so that they get in lane. Let's look at it. Right, so let's see, let's say you're um, auto-attacking like this. Now with this on, with the auto-attack move, you can then try to select the minions. And then you just have to click close to a minion if you want to farm it. And let's say you wanted this, and then I wanted the, this one, and then that one. You just have to use the auto-attack move to get closest to your target here. So if I were to auto-attack move right here, it's going to hit this instead of the minions that would be there. If I had the bo this box, if I don't have it ticked, like this, then it's going to auto-attack the, the target that's closest to my champion. Which makes it very annoying to actually uh, kite, like, anything. It's going to attack the thing closest to my target here. Whilst, yeah, it just doesn't work that well. So make sure to have that box ticked instead of having the uh, having the box not ticked. Pretty much what I wanted to say that. Maybe a bit long-winded on that one. So, quick cast this. And then you go into your hotkeys and scroll down to player movement. Now, this is how I have it set up. This is how I prefer it. So, you can copy it if you want. If you like, if you have any other type of preference, then that's up to you. But I have player attack move click on A and player attack move on X. This allows me to first, like, the if I use the X button, I can use this along with the range to see what my auto attack range is so if i have to kite and not knowing my auto attack range i will know it like this and if i use the player attack move it's going to mean that i just do it automatically without the range which like if you know the champion's range then this is technically a little bit faster because you have to click less but it honestly doesn't really matter if you get used to just using the uh the x in my case Instead of just having to A, like, you can also A click, but then you'll have to know your champion attack range. Which makes kiting kind of awkward as well, if you don't know the attack range. Let's say I didn't know Caitlyn's attack range, and this is actually, like, that helped me there. Then if I use the A click, it's gonna see, it stutter steps me backwards, if you don't do it properly. So, Rapid Fire Cannon isn't really helping me here. I need to get out of range, and then, see, see me stutter stepping back to auto attack this guy, instead of, you see him stuttering back. Because then he turns out to be out of my range. So if you use the X with that, you can see the range and you can make sure you, you auto attack and stand within the range. Which, it, like, it makes a lot of difference. I see a lot of um, AD carries trying to kite when I'm, for example, Hackerman trying to chase them. 
I see a lot of AD carries kite, and then they probably use auto attack move, which is what you should be using because you can you can click, but it like see you can you can misclick easily. See, I misclick the golem a couple times, and then that can lead to your death. Whilst this is much smoother because you can never misclick like this. It works this way as well. If it's running away from you, you just click forward and press A in between. But if you were to use only clicks, like it could work if you practice it enough, like this, it can work. But if you then misclick once, you're gonna walk closer to your target, which could lead to your death in a lot of situations, especially if you play Caitlyn or like any type of AD carry. So you have to make sure that you don't misclick if you want to use it that way. Here, as you can see, I just used I like using the X button more than the A button if I'm playing like any type of AD carry or like any type of range champion because. Um, I'm a jungle main, and I don't necessarily play AD carries that much. I only play it if I get filled into the role. But, like, on Graves, for example, like, Graves is a ranged jungler, which means that it's, it, like, auto attack moving and kiting like this with a uh, with player movement, with uh, player attack move and all that shit becomes important because it's most important on ranged champions. If you're a melee ranged champion, then just manually clicking becomes uh, the better choice most of the time. Like, it's very rare that you actually want to auto-attack move when you're playing a melee champion, because that kind of makes it awkward in certain situations. You have to really, like, know what you're doing with that. On range champions, it's much easier than on melee champions. You just have to make sure you're in range. Also, auto uh, attack speed makes this much easier. If I were to go back to base right now, and then sell both the attack speed items I have right here, and go back to trying to, trying to kite this golem. It's going to become a lot more difficult. Because then I have to time my auto attack better. As soon as you auto attack you just move. But yeah you have to kind of take more time. And try to kite it better. So the more auto attack speed you have. The better this will become. You just have to kind of know your timing. And your timing is easier if you have more auto attack speed. Because then, the, then it doesn't really matter. If you misclick or like you do it too early. Because you're most likely going to have your attack up instead of down so if if i were like um how can i show you this i just do this if i like see see how i stand still and do nothing that's because i don't have the auto attack back yet if i instantly keep if i just keep doing this like if i click it too fast then i'm not gonna have the auto attack back if you're mo if it's moving away from you or like you're moving away but standing this close you see me not auto attacking for a little bit and that's losing me time so you kind of have to really know your auto attack speed and how fast your auto attack is going to make contact in order to make this most efficient. That is pretty much the thing for this guide. Also, please do remember that this is definitely not something you want to do in every single situation because it could cost you your life. You have to really know in certain team fights and all that when to actually use this instead of just trying to walk backwards regularly. So you really have to assess your situation. Like instead of me trying to like auto attack and walk back, maybe if he's coming me at more speed, I just have to walk back and can't auto attack. Like there are those variables, but that will be in certain situations and that's very specific. So you just have to like kind of practice and see what happens. That's pretty much this guide. If it helped you out, like this is the best way I try to explain it. I, I think it's pretty clear, but... If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments below. I will always try to help people that have questions. And yeah, if you like this guide, please remember to hit that like button below. And subscribe for more. See you guys in the next video. Bye!